I was going to make a little shed for my solar components, but I'm out of scrap wood, so I'd have to buy lumber. And that was going to run me, oh, probably with everything, about $100. And I'm running out of time, I'm running out of patience, and frankly, I'm a little worried that I'm not going to make it weatherproof. So I decided to spend a few bucks. Oh, look at that. Is that a monarch butterfly? They're so beautiful. I saw one floating through the air earlier today effortlessly, but I didn't have the camera out. Hey, buddy, You're out there pollinating flowers. How pretty. Whoa, hey, sorry. Anyway, I'll get back to what I was saying. So I'm hoping that this is going to be built better than what I would do, and it's going to look decent. And so I'm going to put this together. It's 30 minutes to put together. Yes, it was more expensive than if I did it myself, but um, it being 98 degrees with a 101 heat index and time being of the essence, I figured I'd, I'd just pony up and get it done. Hey, the bright thing for, for this, it's made in the USA anyway. Hecho en los Estados Unidos, or Estados Unidos. Made in the USA, United States. Anyway, this is the right size, I think. I think it's going to fit up there. I may have to move that gray phone box, which they just put in, so when they come back to bury the line, I'll ask them to move it. And it should work out just right. Well, that looks pretty decent. Easy to put together. Only took us about 30 minutes, hey buddy? Yep. And not any screw-ups. Hey, yo, it was kind of like snapping together uh, Lego pieces, really. Just some screws. P pretty good uh, engineered design. I thought it was kind of neat. The way these snap together in the back, they give you these five, um, I don't know what you call them, connectors, and they just slide into these these uh, channels and snap down, and it holds the two back panels together. Now, I can bolt this to the wall, which is what I might end up doing after we get the power wall set up in here, or I can bolt it to the floor, I'm guessing. Either way, so rubber made, hey -o. 10 year warranty. Hopefully it lasts us and it keeps the water out and the weather out. Blech. Hey guys, welcome back. We are back out at the solar battery box here that I built and I showed you in a video how I did that. I don't know, a month back or two months back. I don't know, time's kind of gotten away from here with this illness. Uh oh, I think I just got caught up on this. Anyway, um, I told you I was going to vent this, and a lot of you guys said, hey, make sure you put, you know, a screen or something so critters don't get in there. I'm doing two things. I got hardware cloth, and I'm going to, uh, I got a hole saw, so I'm going to put a, a hole in there. I got hardware cloth I'm going to put over it, as well as, you know, finer screen. So hopefully this keeps rodents out, this keeps bugs out. I'm going to staple gun it all into place. I'm going to put one hole on the left side and one hole on the right side. And uh, yesterday... I went ahead and I insulated the rest of the box with that one inch foam board so it's all nice and insulated. I think what I'm going to do with the top because it's heavy and these shingles, although they've been doing the job, it's nice and dry in there and there's no webs or critters or insects in there. I think I am going to um, go ahead and I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to take the shingles off. I never actually stapled them down or nailed them down. And I'm going to put um, metal on here. It's going to be way lighter. I'll be able to lift it up one side at a time if I want. And uh, I think it's just going to be way better in the long run. So, um, But I don't have the materials to do that today. I do have the materials to do this today. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm also going to go ahead and start wiring up the batteries in series. And we're going to make the eight 6-volt batteries that I have. One giant 48-volt battery. So hopefully we get all that done in the video today. All right, stick around. All right, guys. I'm going to put one right about there. Uh-oh, what the heck just happened there? We're through. Not bad, not bad. I'll just put this back up. It should be right in business. Ta-da, all right, we'll do one on the other side. Okay, gang, today's the day we're gonna at least attempt to start making some of these battery uh, cables. Now what I have here is number four wire. 
I'm using four aught wire going from the batteries to the inverter. Uh, I was told that I could use number eight wire doing what I'm doing here, and then I was told uh, number six wire was the way to go. I bought number four just because I'd rather be erring on the side of caution here. And the amount of money that I've invested in this solar setup, the extra whatever it was, $20 for the better wire or the thicker wire, probably not going to matter in the long run. So I just went ahead and splurged. All right, buddy, do me a favor and hold that there. I want to hold this here okay. and kind of, kind of stretch out that cable so it goes right to the end. Thank you. All right, so I'm making, you got it? Mm -hmm. I'm making the cables seven inches, and I'm going to test it because I don't want to make a bunch of seven inch cables and then turn around. I don't want to have to turn around and then waste all my wire and realize that I needed seven and a half inches. I Guys, I'm no expert at this, and you're going to find fault, some of you, in how I'm doing this, and that's cool. Tell me in the comments a better way to do it, and I'll do it the better way. I ain't scared. How do we do there, buddy? Those are the ones. You know what okay. linesmen's are, right? Sweet. Yeah, I do this now. Is to work. You do now, eh? Yeah, you need you to just, solve that? Yeah, if you don't mind. You should give me the torque necessary to make this happen. Maybe. Oh, there we go. All right. Sweet. What I don't want to forget is the shrink wrap on there. I got to put that on before. I'll pound the lug down. I can wrap it over there. Shrink wrap. Okay. Let's just check it. Make sure we can fit it. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. The second one. Lack of soul. It feels like art class. It is kind of like art class. Scissors. Arts and crap. Yeah. We got some, and it looks get like, some glue. It looks like that. You know, like the pasta necklaces that you could make in kindergarten? No, I have no uh, idea you what you're talking about. You probably didn't because that was... But like, the pasta necklaces were... Were you about like to make fun of my, my age again? Were you about to date me? No, I was going to say the bad school you went to. Oh, okay. <laughs> you said it. It's like that, you know? It, it, that's what it looked like, that red pasta. You're such a good boy. I love you. All right, so then the question is, how are we going to heat shrink this? So I can try a lighter, but I also have a torch to heat this heat shrink up from Sears. <laughs> this is old, man. Almost like Sears ain't around anymore. All right, now let's move this out of the way, move this out of the way. I got a pretty clean work surface here, which is cool. I dig that. We're going to put this sucker on here. I'm going to use this tool right here. Turn it on. I hope it works exactly the way it's supposed to. All right, so here's the tool. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to just... Good wax. Nice. See that? That ain't going anywhere. All right. We'll heat shrink that. We'll just do the other side with our. I better get another one. Where's the other heat shrink? Put that on there. I want this to be done right, guys. This isn't. I'm not. Even though I'm trying to DIY this, I'm also trying to uh, do it the best I can and keep it as pro as I can. Knowing that, you know, you guys know most of what I do is not pro in the grand scheme of things, but I'm trying. And they're nice, nice. All right, so now we'll heat shrink it. I'm going to first try using a lighter. And if that doesn't work, I'll get out the torch. It's supposed to shrink down to, I guess, like two-thirds or one-third its size. We'll see. Oh, yeah, she's shrinking all right. And this, of course, the reason why you want to do this is just to protect the connection and the wire in there from corrosion and whatever else. Hope I'm doing this right. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Just get a little bit more right in here. Okay, I think we're good. We'll just do this side, and then we'll test the cable and make sure that we're good to go. And I don't even have to fire up the propane torch, because that would probably just burn this to a pulp in a matter of a mere second or two. Now is when I wished I had that heat gun. I was going to get it at Harbor Freight. It was five bucks, but they only let me get one of the five dollar items. So I got an infrared therm thermostat, or an infra infrared whatever you call it. Not sure why I just did. There's been a couple of times that I go, oh, I wished I had one of those. 
No, I have one. I haven't used it yet, but I have one. All right, gang. There it is. I hope that's the right size. Now let me just measure this because it was seven inches. And now with the terminals on the end there, it's nine inches. So maybe I'll even be able to make these smaller because, uh, again, this wire is expensive. So I want to use as little of it as I can because I'm also going to use this going from the charge controller to, the, to a component or two. I'm going to bring the components through. And then the extra thick four aught wire is going to be used, again, coming out of the battery bank and into the inverter. And I only have, I think, six or seven feet of that, and that should be plenty. Okay, we'll go test it. All right, guys, so we're in here, and we have to go from positive to negative. So it's going to have to go just like so. And look at that. L perfection. Actually, I could probably go a little shorter on there. So instead of seven, I could probably go six and a half or six and be just fine. Well, I was all gung-ho on getting this done yesterday, but the truth is, guys, I was wiped out. I can only do a little bit at a time, and I'm just tired. Not only tired, I'm just feeling, I don't know, I can't explain it, sick. Not totally sick, but just a little bit, I guess. And these don't have to be perfectly the same size, but um, I made a mistake in one of the earlier clips, and I said, gee, I can make these a little shorter. And the answer was, no, I can't. I'm going to keep them the size they are. They're going to be perfect because... I redid the batteries and spaced them apart a little bit. Some of you guys made the point of, hey, they need to have a little bit of room between them for temperature reasons. You want to keep them, you know, you don't want them to get too hot. That made sense. So I just put like maybe a half an inch between the batteries where I could. Oh, okay, that's going to be in four red, and then I'll do the black. And I ain't going in until I get these done, so come hell or high water, these are going to be done. And I got the wooden power wall inside the house, and that's going to force me to start working on that and putting all the components onto that wooden wall. That's going to be super heavy, so I don't know exactly how we're going to get it back out to where it needs to go, but we're going to make that happen. Now I'll try to put links to whatever it is I'm using here in the description below in case you guys want to uh, use the same stuff for your system. It'll be easy for you and if you do decide to buy off the link, it helps me out a little bit. So thank you. I think what I'm going to do is move everything to the concrete floor so it'll be easier putting the lugs on. Guys, I don't know if I'm doing any of this correct or by the book. I'm just doing it. You take it or leave it. Chew the meat, spit out the bones. I think they all look pretty good. I hope uh, when I get out there and start putting them in, they're all the right size. And I'm going to have to do two longer ones, one positive, one negative, coming off of the battery bank and into the inverter and I'm also going to have to run and, and that'll be four off but I'm going to run a, a positive and a negative from I'm trying to think what component it would come in from I guess maybe the load center into the battery box maybe the charge controller I'm gonna have to look at my diagram all right gang so every other video that I try to look at on YouTube when it came to wiring these up in series which means we're turning these six volts in this case, in a 48 volts, every other video was just, the quality was pretty bad. I ain't going to lie. And so I'm going to try to make this a little simpler. And I don't know that I'm doing this as safely as one should or could. But when you're going in series, you're going from positive to negative, And that's turning two batteries into one. Or in this case, we're going to turn them uh, eight batteries into one. So eight times six is 48. I'm gonna to try to do this without dying or getting zapped, but you know me and safety. I'm not real big on it for some reason. I'm an idiot. And I'll come back and tighten these down with a wrench later. But positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. And I'll just do one side red and one side black. I explained that to you in an earlier clip. Now I was lucky enough, I had a whole set of 
nuts and bolts. Thank you, Harbor Freight. And I was able to find them, even though there's some different sizes, I was able to uh, get enough to make this happen. See, we have positive to negative, positive to negative, and we're going to continue all the way around. And what we'll be left with, and I'll show you, is one negative and one positive. And that's what's going to come out and go back into the component shed. Come on.